Dear students, I welcome you to this video on environmental education. This video is to help you to get a glimpses of units covered in this paper. It will help you to recollect before entering your examination hall for writing this paper in university examination. Um, I hope it will help you. Uh, let us see. Uh, there are five units in environmental education. Unit 1 is environmental education. Unit 2 is natural resources, problems and solutions. Unit 3 environmental pollution, hazards and disaster management. Unit 4 environmental problems, policies and promotion of environment. Unit 5 environmental education in school curriculum. Now let us see each and every unit. Unit number one, environmental education. The major uh, highlights of this unit is concept and meaning of environment. What is the meaning of environment? Meaning of en environment, uh, it is an organized effort to teach how natural environments function and how human beings can manage ecosystem. Again, I repeat, it is an organized effort to teach how natural environments function and how human beings can manage ecosystem. Then the term ecological intelligence has been used in this unit. Ecological intelligence means it allows us to comprehend systems in all their complexity as well as their interplay between the natural and man-made worlds. Ecological intelligence, it allows us to comprehend systems in all their complexity as well as the interplay between the natural and man-made world. Then objectives of environmental education, the objective is to spread awareness of the reasons behind environmental degradation and suggest methods to reduce the activities that are harming the environment to spread awareness of the reasons behind environmental degradation and suggest methods to reduce the activities that are harming the environment. Need and scope of environmental education. It is a process that allows individuals to explore environmental issues, engage in problem solving and take action to improve the environment. This is the need. It is a process. It allows individuals to explore environmental issues, engage in problem solving and take action to improve the environment. So these are all the things which have been covered in Unit 1. Now let us see Unit 2. Unit 2, uh, Natural Resources, Problems and Solutions. Major uh, areas or major highlights that you are already know that very often you might have heard or very often you might have read in newspapers that are uh, land resources, prevention of soil erosion, prevention of deforestation, prevention of water scarcity, now we are seeing water scarcity everywhere, mineral resources, extraction of mineral resources, prevention of mineral resources exploitation to maximum level the people are uh, taking away mineral resources available. Then food crisis, we are also seeing food crisis and uh, alternative energy resources. We are looking for alternative energy resources. Uh, these are all the important points in unit 2. So these are all common points for which you can have answers. Then unit 3 environmental pollution, hazards and disaster management. Environmental degradation. What do you mean by environmental degradation? Environmental degradation means the deterioration of the environment through depletion of resources such as air, water and soil, the destruction of ecosystem and extinction of wildlife to maximum level depletion of resources extinction of wildlife. All these things are uh, called as environmental degradation. Then environmental pollution, uh, very often we are hearing about this pollution. Soil, land pollution, water pollution, air pollution, radiation. Because of uh, maximum pollutions, 
um, that we get radiation, radiation, direct sunlight, it affects human beings. Then prevention of this radiation. And another important highlight in this unit is disaster management. I think there may be one question from this uh, disaster management. Disaster management, earthquake, volcanic eruption, landslides, forest fire, tsunami, cyclone, oil spills. Very often you may have observed in newspapers how we uh, managed the oil spills in seas and how often we are uh, putting out the fire in forest and how people are coping with tsunami and other uh, causes, other disasters like earthquake and landslides. So definitely there will be one question from this uh, important point. Uh, now let us see unit number four. Unit number four, environmental problems, policies and protection of environment. Major environmental problems, global warming. Because maximum we are using all uh, chemical uh, things because of that global warming. Greenhouse effect. Then climate change. Because of this climate change, often we get uh, ma uh, uh, more rainfall or sometimes uh, less rainfall and ozone layer depletion there is a big hole that is why ozone layer depletion acid rain acid rain extinction of flora and fauna we are uh, reducing the forest and pollution control board what is the role of pollution control board how do ngos manage these environmental problems or cater to these environmental problems then international union for conservation of nature and and you have to write about international union for conservation of nature so these are all in unit number four and unit five has environmental education in school curriculum status of environmental education in school curriculum because of the environmental degradation all the systems in the world have emphasized the importance of including environmental education in school curriculum because they wanted to make uh, people aware of this environmental degradation. So preserving nature is very very important. That's why they have been stressing on importing this environmental education in school curriculum. Role of ENEP. Uh, C E E and N C E R T. Role of U N E P C E E and N C E R T in promoting environmental education. So I would like to give a full form of U N E P. Full form of U N E P is United Nations Environmental Program. It was established in 1972. Again, I repeat, it is an uh, United Nations Environment Program. CEE, Center for Environmental Education, it was founded in 1984 by Ministry of Environment and Forest of Government of India to promote environmental education. NCERT, National Council for Educational Research and Training. Actually, NCERT is responsible for uh, making school curriculum of secondary and senior secondary schools. So these are all the things which have been given in Unit 5. I hope you would have uh, uh, got a glimpses of all these five units. I hope you will do better in your university paper. Uh, my best wishes to you always. Keep watching. We will meet again on another paper. Till then, it is bye from Professor Ramakrishnan.